When we do talk about reconciliation versus rescaling, what do you think is the difference between the two? Well, we, we just gave an, given a definition of reconciliation, which is comparing one number or one set of numbers with a, a truth, if you like, as much as we can trust that truth. Rescaling is when that truth is actually used to amend or adjust the prediction. So in other words, if we have a, uh, an actual tons and grade and metal, uh, we would do all the adjustments for stockpiles and whatever. And then once we're happy with that, we actually factor the claimed or, or the prediction, if you like, or the predictions to match the uh, match the the truth, if you like, or the or the end of the process. So that's what that's what we would call re rescaling. So we're actually taking the factors from the reconciliation exercise all the way back to the predictions and physically changing the predictions. Okay, and I think uh, it, it is important to note that there's there is confusion like when I talk to people about reconciliation unless we've done those definitions and what they consider reconciliation they can often be talking about rescaling because in their in their world that is their reconciliation so I think before any um any conversation that I have I always ask how do you define reconciliation um just to make sure that we're on the same page because we don't want to be talking about that um somebody talking about rescaling the whole time we're talking about reconciliation so because they are quite different um in so why so why Rayleigh why do you think that uh, there's a motivation for minds to do rescaling rather than reconciliation what, 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 what do you think the what's driving them in that direction I think it's the low confidence that they're having um in the grade being delivered to the plant um which is usually triggered by that poor um mine to mill reconciliation that metal reconciliation um, now that can be a combination of stockpile management uh, maybe it's the material movement tracking so actually tracking that source id um, to stockpile and then maybe it's to another stockpile it could be the uncertainty of the grade in the model so maybe there's not enough sampling in um, in that interpretation loads of different reasons but there's are the three big ones that i see the stockpile management material movement tracking and the uncertainty of the grade in the model um, i think what's important to note though is you know I, we can accommodate the whole rescaling um, and doing those factors against those um, those raw movements but i don't think at any stage you should be overriding the raw numbers. The raw numbers are your best estimate at the time. And if you have low confidence in those, then you should be going and trying to improve um, the way that you're getting that measure rather than just um, overriding it. There is value in um, doing that back calculation, that rescaling, uh, just to see how out your measurements were, those raw measurements were. Uh, and for this to happen in, in a product like Reconciler, we do carry two sets of numbers. So we'll have our raw number, which is your original estimates. And we can also bring in an, an adjusted value. So that rescaling number uh, to be able to compare. And again, it's just so that you can see the trends in the data, how far out those raw numbers could be um, and why those raw numbers can't be trusted. You know, that's ultimately the, your reconciliation is that original number versus your measure. Um, uh, your actual sorry um so we need to be able to trust those um those first estimates yes no i absolutely agree with your sentiments i mean i think we if you are going to do it that's fine but i think we need to quite clearly keep the two sets of numbers away from each other and make it quite clear uh when we're uh doing the rescaling and when we're doing a reconciliation so so yes i fully agree